All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol BOXL, Boxlight Corporation. And before I jump into this chart, if you learn something new, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button for me to let me know you watch this video and share this with your friends and community. All right. Also, down below, I will be putting a link to another video. It's called The Stock Market Crash Is It Coming? And I will be discussing on how the Fed has agreed to continue to pump for the month of July. And yes, the month of July is going to have its ups and downs. There's a lot of earnings coming out and so forth. But I just go ahead and describe in the video, which I find is very informative for you guys to receive that insight in regards to why the market isn't going to just plummet and crash as a lot of analysts and people are saying could the crash be coming well i don't get into that detail yet a lot of analysts are saying it probably will but as of right now that video is very informative because i have the confirmation of the dates of the pump and i will be posting weekly videos on when those pumps are coming the two pumps that have came so far in July is July 14th and the next one's coming tomorrow. So I highly recommend after watching this video, check out the video down below in the description. I will be putting the link there. It's a click of a button. All you got to do is click on the link and you will be receiving some great insight. If you find that video worthwhile and you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to because from that moment forward, you'll be able to receive my daily videos and this insight that I do on charts every day and the weekly videos on when those pumps are coming so you guys can be ready as investors. So let's jump into this chart. The first thing is obviously it's highest high in the last couple of days was 464. If it doesn't break through that, obviously the bullish run has not showed its potential to continue to break through new highs because that's the moment of rejection. Second, second rejection was 455 and from that moment forward we are on a downward trend here obviously the support level was broken through it's below the 50-day moving average of 347 right i'd write that down as long as it stays below that the bears are in full control but something interesting here which i want to point out is how it's leveling off so this is still a little bit steep right you can see it's a staircase but if this was to level off a little bit more straight right like this is supposed to like kind of level off like that in a very red zone let's just say it, it kept going like that red candlesticks but kind of more uh, at a 180 degree angle rather than you know staircase there could have been a potential way to say okay well this is almost about to have a turnaround because usually when bulls level themselves off there's an exhaustion of people selling and the um excuse me i didn't say i said bulls bears bears leveling themselves off there's an exhaustion where the bulls can go ahead and reappear but in this case there's still some steepness here of like a staircase now here it leveled off slightly but that's not enough it had to be a few more than that for it to really be significant so this is still one to really pay close attention to on how it reacts tomorrow so let me move these uh resistance levels and support levels to where they should be now there's new ones right and for the most part bears right now are in control on this one and the bulls have some work to do the first thing is the bulls need to break through 336. Once they break through that and use this as support, they'll be able to start to focus on their next goal and it's the 50 day moving average of 347. But in the meantime, if the bulls can't break through that and use it as support, anything in between here is great, right? If the, the bulls are here, they're just working their way closer to it but the bears can destroy them because this needs to be broken through first so that the bulls can say okay we're going to start to gain control here we're going to start to um have some leverage right we broke through 336 let's use it as support and let's work our way through new resistance levels but anything in between 
that does not mean that the Bulls have gained control. They're still far from the 50-day moving average, and they need to break through it. In the other hand, for the Bears to continue their run, they'll want to break through 280. If that gets broken through, I'm not saying that the chart is completely destroyed and the Bulls have no chance, but the Bears are just gaining more and more control, moving this further away from the 50-day moving average. Now, don't get me wrong. The Bulls like to appear when there's a really good price. So if by any chance this breaks through and it's here in very, very bearish territory, the Bulls can decide to reappear and bring this one back up. So that's something to keep a very close eye on. It closed out at 290. So it's a lot closer to the support level than the resistance level. But this is going to be an interesting one for tomorrow. Let's see how it plays out. And as always, if you learn something new, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button for me to let me know you watched this video. And share this with your friends and community. And don't forget... Down below in the description will be the link to the other video where I discuss how the Fed is going to continue pumping the market, how the scheduled dates are there, and I will be posting the next scheduled dates. So a lot of great information. And if you find that video very informative and worthwhile, hit the like button and let me know you watched it and subscribe because there'll be more videos on the way. Thank you for watching.